Everybody, be cool. You, be cool. All right, guys, what movie did that come from? One of my favorite horror movies. Let me know if you can guess it down in the comments. But it begs the question, what does it mean to be cool? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about what it means to be cool and give you 10 tips to be cool instantly. Tip number one to being cool is to not try too hard to be cool. I know a kind of a little bit of reverse psychology there, but I think what you, if you think about what is uncool, what is not cool is someone begging, someone pleading, somebody standing in the corner fidgeting or looking really nervous or sweating. Think of James Bond. He's in a firefight. Is he ever sweating? Does he ever look nervous? No, he always looks like he's in control. He's speaking slowly. He never loses sight of what his goal is. If you want to look cool walking into what a party, well, you're going to have to practice doing that. Maybe you're going to go to events that are smaller. But once you start to practice doing this, you don't worry about how you're walking. You don't worry about how you're looking or what, how other people are perceiving you and you can come off as more cool. So remember guys, don't try too hard. Tip number two, stand up straight or when you're seated, sit comfortably like you would at home. Now, I'm not talking about man spreading here, but what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to slump over. I don't want you to, when you're seated, try to basically hide yourself. A lot of people do this and they don't even know they're doing it. And what happens is they send a signal of weakness. Weakness is not cool. Tip number three, wear a pair of sunglasses. Guys, when you notice when I put on these shades, I instantly like the level of coolness shot up. Okay. Maybe that didn't happen, but there's two reasons why shades are going to make you look cooler. And number one is it's going to make you more mysterious. People can't see the eyes. They're instantly going to take a more of an interest, simply wondering if you are looking at them. This can translate into them paying more attention. Therefore, your coolness is going to go up a bit. Also, celebrities, movie stars, when we see them out in public, what are they wearing? Shades, sunglasses. So, especially the classics, we're talking AV wayfarers, club masters, all of these have an association with coolness. So you want to find the right frame for your face, but you want to also find the right brand for you. Guys, I'm going to recommend Degree 7. I'm going to link to them down in the description. I've got a great discount code, but this company is the sponsor of this video. And I can tell you, these are these are easily $400 lenses selling for one third the price. They're over in Chicago. They have the lenses. These are Carl Zeiss lenses. I love the fact that they use really high quality lenses out of Germany. The actual frame is from Italy. It's all assembled in Poland and uh, they'll ship to anywhere in the United States for free internationally. You'll have to check with their website, but overall titanium. So my kids have gotten a hold of these. I mean, look at this right here. I'm moving these around adjustable nose piece. A lot of things Things I love about this company. I've got two pairs. I've worn these for about six months, uh, tested them out. And I can tell you guys easily some of my favorite shades. So definitely go check them out. Tip number four, wear a leather jacket. So I've talked about it before, but leather jackets, leather in general, sends a signal of strength and masculinity. Let's go to Hollywood, Indiana Jones. We're going to see any of these, you know, guys in Top Gun, pilots from adventurers. What, what, do we see? what kind of jackets do we see them wearing? Leather. It's durable. It's tough. It's been around for a long time. And you can all, it doesn't have to be just jackets. You can bring it into shoes. You can bring it into maybe your bags. So all of these things, besides actually being a very durable, something that's going to stand up to the test of time, something that is going to be great for an investment piece. It also is going to make you look cool. Tip number five, grow a bit of stubble. So when they compared clean shaven to a man with about two to three days of stubble with a beard, you know, each of them, they found certain characteristics, but what they found with the man that grew the stubble is he was more attractive and he came off as being more cool. Now they weren't able to figure out how to attribute like why they thought he was more cool. I think it has to do when you see a guy with a bit of stubble, you know, okay, like he's either got his own company, he's working in a job that he can decide to grow a beard or basically that this guy is sending a signal. He's outside the bounds. In any case, growing stubble, it's going to make you look cool. Tip number six, find a well-fitted pair of jeans. And when I say well-fitted guys, I mean, they should fit you right in the waist, in the hips and in the thighs. If necessary, get them hemmed to adjust the length. You don't want to have, you know, any fray or anything on the back. The key is get the fit right. Find a brand that works for you and then go get a few variety of colors. Now, maybe there are certain colors you want to stay away from. Maybe a 1980s stone wash. Don't get anything that's slashed up and looks like you're coming from a 1990s rock concert. But the point is, 
is, is maybe try some maroons. Maybe go with a pair of black, maybe a light gray, maybe a dark indigo blue. I love a dark blue wash. I think that that's going to look best on most men. It's going to be very interchangeable. The key is nail that fit. Maybe go with a dark color and you're going to have something that's timeless, that's a classic now in most men's wardrobes. And because of its association with the Rebel and, you know, Americana, it definitely has a good cool factor. Tip number seven to be cool is to assume that people like you. When you walk into a room, don't sabotage yourself. Don't say, oh my gosh, people are going to hate me or they're not going to like me or they're going to not like my voice, maybe not like the way I'm dressed. Go in and assume the best of people, that they are just like you, that they are there to network or they're there to meet people, they're there to have a good time. Put out your hand, introduce yourself, talk to people and really just have a good time and assume that they will like you. And the funny thing is when you assume they're going to like you, oftentimes they do and your coolness factor shoots up. Tip number eight, understand the rules and then have the courage to break them. So, one of the things I teach is that you need to have a strong foundation in men's style. Guys should understand why we dress, what the dress codes are. But once you understand all of that and then you understand your position, the message you're wanting to send, you can go out there and break those rules. So, if you're going to go into a conference and yeah, everyone else is going to be wearing a suit, but you've got a message, you've got a company that let's say is in the Western sphere. Well, nothing wrong with you actually wearing a cowboy hat with a dark pair of black Wranglers and maybe a really nice suit jacket and cowboy boots. Yeah, you know, you're going to stand out, but you know what? That fits your brand, that fits your company. And if it's going to help people remember you and people approach you and it's going to build, it's sending the message you want to send, well, then break those rules. Tip number nine, know people. So, have you ever seen that guy, he walks into a club, walks into a bar and he knows the bouncers, he knows the bartenders, he knows everyone that's serving, he knows tons of the patrons, he's able to go around, shake hands, give hugs and I mean, it's just everyone seems to approve of this guy. Instantly, his cool level has shot up. Basically, what this is doing is it's using the environment to send signals that you are accepted, that you are a high value person and all of this can work in your favor to build up your level of cool. So, one of the best things I think that a man can do is actually do some preemptive work. Maybe go to a place or frequent a place and actually build relationships. In certain cases, tip people well so they remember you, so they, you know, talk with them, treat them with respect, know their names and use them. All of this is going to build up your cool level, especially in an environment like a bar or a club. Tip number 10, know when to drop the cool. And guys, understand being cool all the time is not cool. That's not a normal human being. It's okay sometimes to be vulnerable. It's okay sometimes to open up. It's okay sometimes to really just connect with people, to listen. And that's not always going to be perceived as cool, but cool isn't something that you have to send all the time. All right, gents, you ready to be cool? All right, let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything. And I want you to go check out Degree 7. I'm going to link to them down in the description. I'm going to have a great discount code for you. They're a family owned business. And like I said, they are using Carl Zeiss lenses made in Germany, the frames out of Italy. Overall, the packaging is beautiful. I got this case. I've had this case now for six months and it's a great case. I use it again and again. It fits the glasses perfectly. But overall, I I think it's the construction, the build. I had one of my daughters, she's not even two, she grabbed these glasses, probably played with them for a while and did not break them. I can tell you that's a big deal to have something that's actually made from titanium that is bendable and flexible and, you know, at the same time, I mean, looks and feels like a $400 pair of sunglasses and is going for a third of that, especially if you use the discount code I provide for you guys. So, a great company, easily one of my favorite sunglass companies out there and uh, I just love the fact they're right out of Chicago. So, uh, I also have this color. You know, which one? Do you like better the blacks or these right here? Uh, let me know in the comments and guys, go check them out. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.